What up, guys? It's Chance here, aka Shadow Blade, Virus, DK Customs, whatever you want to call me, it don't matter. But right now, I'm kind of fucking pissed off. Like, and for a very good reason, because as you guys know, like, the military is very near and dear to me. Because as you know, my dad was a 2nd Airborne Division Staff Sergeant, United States Army. Well, this is something that I find very, very just beyond disgraceful and fucked up. Today, I was sitting down working on some music for my new channel. As you guys know, I do have a new channel coming out called Virus Beats, where I'll be showcasing, you know, all my instrumentals and stuff to put up for people to use. But, uh, I was sitting there working on some tracks for it, and I was checking my number one music which is a site where you can post a lot of your songs, people react to them, like real people react. And I seen that I had some messages on there. So naturally I went to go check. And I got this message from a kid who's about 13, 14 years old, who has been a fan of my work for a very long time now. Well, I opened up the message, and I read it. This kid had a father who was in the military who died overseas during the war, during the Iraq War of 2013. Because as you guys know, Iraq's still going on about all that shit, but whatever. So to honor his father... He wore a t-shirt that was custom designed with the Soldier's Cross and the U.S. flag. And if you guys don't know what the Soldier's Cross is, it's a helmet on a rifle. And the rifle is planted in between two boots that are like this. They're planted outward. Well, the school didn't like that. They made him, they gave him the choice to either take the shirt off and change out or that he would get in school suspension. And, you know, his brother actually served as well in the Marine Corps. Still very close friends with his brother. His brother's really cool. So shout out to you, man, if you're watching this. Um, I don't know if you're still overseas or not, but if you are, man, I hope you're staying safe, brother. And, you know, I hope for a safe return for you, man. I really do. But the school tried to make this kid change out his shirt. Because it, bear, cause it was bearing the soldier's cross. Saying that it had a picture of a gun and yeah i get that guns like anything with guns should not be allowed i get it but when it comes to the soldier's cross there needs to be an exception because that soldier's cross signifies every soldier who has fought and died protecting our country, including some of my very closest friends who have died serving our country, who have died protecting this land. And honestly, I feel like it's not fair, you know? Like, you know, why change out your shirt when it's bearing the soldier's cross, which is a very significant and I mean very significant peace. 
I mean, it's not a picture of somebody shooting somebody. It's not a gang-related thing. It's a symbolism of sacrifice, of honor, integrity. It's a symbol of people who give everything. It's a symbol of those who went above and beyond to protect this country. And personally, I feel like they should be apologizing to him and his family and allow him to wear that shirt, along with any student who supports the military, who supports our soldiers. That should be allowed. Like, I understand if it's, you know, gang-related. I get it. Like, if it's gang-related, you know, all right, take the necessary precautions, you know, make the student change out. But to make a student change his shirt just because it bears the soldier's cross, that's not fair. That's not fair to the student. And it's not fair to anybody who supports our military. And for those especially like myself who have family members and friends that are in the military. Like, these these schools need to stop this shit. And I know it's not just his kids. I know it's not just his school. But it's schools all over the country. Like, this needs to stop. I fully believe that if you support our military and you're and or you're a military family member or a friend or as somebody who has a friend that's in the military, like, you know, I've got a bunch of friends, you know, that I'm still very close to to this day that are in the military. Like, if you support the military, I feel like you should wear whatever you wish that supports it. Hence the soldier's cross with the U.S. flag behind it or something representing the military. Like, as you guys know, I actually have the hat of one of my friends who was in the military. He was in the United States Marine Corps. And to honor him, his family actually wound up giving me the hat from his uniform, which I still have. It's packed up. I don't hardly ever wear it. Well, I would, but, you know, like, that has meaning to me. It belonged to a dear friend. And I'm sorry, but if you're bearing the soldier's cross on your shirt, That not only makes you a kid at that point, that makes you a fucking man. Because you know what these soldiers sacrifice every day. Every day they sacrifice. They give everything. And some of them pay the ultimate price. Because it's part of their job. See, people don't really understand what they go through on a daily basis. I do because I've seen it firsthand. I've video chatted with friends. I've seen shit that most should never see because not only am I an army brat, but I have friends that are in the military who have shown me this stuff. And honestly, the news glamorizes it way too much. And they act like it's an okay thing. Like... You know, like they basically take, glamorize it, make it out to be this awesome thing. But, I mean, to a certain point, it is awesome. It's awesome in the sense that, you know, that soldier that just got killed right there on the news was fighting for his brothers, for myself, for everybody on this earth, for this entire country. You know, and as you guys are well aware, 
more recently, I lost one of my best friends, David, to an ambush from a terrorist attack. And, you know, when I got the news and when his family got the news, we were both, you know, we were devastated. So I honestly feel that that school needs to apologize to that kid and allow him to wear that shirt. Yeah, it might have a gun on it, but it's not a picture of somebody shooting someone or something like that. And it's not gang related. It's military driven. What up, Lance? And, you know, like, and when I messaged this kid, I sat down and I talked to them for about two, three hours straight today. And, you know, he was a really cool kid. He was very nice, you know. Like, And to hear that this kid, you know, enjoys my music, you know, that's a huge deal. Like, that's awesome. But when he told me about his school wanting him in detention for the shirt, I told him, like, dude, I support the military. I'm an army brat myself. So I support our troops 110% all the way. Hell, to be honest, if I could, I would serve right alongside my brothers and sisters in combat boots. I would stand shoulder to shoulder with every single one of them and fight right alongside them. Because I know what it takes. I know the sacrifices every damn day that they make. I've seen it firsthand and I've gone through it firsthand. And so I know these sacrifices that the troops make better than most seem to realize. Because not only have I had to deal with, you know, family members being deployed and, you know, friends being deployed, but I had to deal with them being away, barely able to ever talk to them, always on missions, always moving around. I know what that life is like. Granted, the upside to moving a lot, I got to see a lot of really nice places. I'll admit that. But when I talked to this kid, he was the most awesome kid ever. Like, this kid was genuinely one of the coolest kids I've honestly ever met. So, I don't know if that kid's watching this right now. But uh, if by chance you are, dude. I'm going to be hooking you up with something very fucking cool. Because of your courage to stand up for your father and tell your school no that you're not going to change out of that shirt. And with your brother supporting you. I'm going to do something very special for you, man. I'm going to give you my entire album by email of Blackout, along with all my other albums that I'm going to be coming out with, for free. Because you did the right thing. You stood up for your father, who was in the military. You stood up for the Soldier's Cross. And when when you stand up for the Soldier's Cross like that, you're not just a, a little boy at that point. You're a fucking man. It takes a real man to do what you did. And you did the right thing, man. And I'm proud of you. And I'm honored to say that you're a fan. And, you know, I hope that you're listening to my music still. And I hope that you're watching this. Like, that'd be cool if you were. But 
anybody who stands up for the soldier's cross and what it means and they have the courage to bear that whether it's on a tattoo whether it's on a t-shirt on a jacket a patch whatever it may be you know at that point you are no longer a little boy or a little girl or a little kid in general if you have the courage to bear that you're a man especially when you defend it like that that's that takes a lot of courage it really does and i want you to know man that you know your family and you have my respect a hundred and ten percent And, you know, I support what you did. And I hope that the schools change things. You know? Like, I really feel like these schools need to change that up. Especially when it bears something as powerful as the Soldier's Cross. But anyways, guys, I need to hop off here because I need to finish up my channel and then I'll probably wind up heading off to bed. But if you guys feel like the schools need to change the rules on bearing the soldier's cross on a t-shirt, share this around. Please, everybody, let's make a change. Okay? Let's get these school districts to change their minds. And let's show them what the Soldier's Cross truly stands for. Let's show them what it really means and how it's not pertaining to violence. And to every soldier out there serving and to every soldier who's lost their life and served, you have my respects. And I give you this salute 110%. Not just as a soldier's son, but as a supporter of the military, 110%. And I hope you guys make it home safe if you are overseas. This is Chance, aka Shadowblood, aka Virus, whatever you want to call me, no matter. Signing off for the night, off of live stream for the night, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Peace.